What is up with that wing? How many directions can those feathers flow? Are you talking about the right one or the left one? The one in front that has feathers going this way and that way and this way and that way. I mean, it's your focal point. It's the biggest thing in your tattoo is the wing that's staring at me in the face that's completely drawn wrong. That's not what a wing looks like in any bird. That was rough. Damn. You'll have six hours to tattoo a pinup. Fail to create a dream girl, and you can kiss your dream of $100,000 goodbye. I'm a little bit over it at this point. Just go simple. Don't overthink it. I'm just stressed out, and I'm going to end up stressing everybody else out. You're going to stress me out more if you go home. Just do a good, clean tattoo. You'll be fine. It's a little wide for her. She's so narrow. Yeah, and this leg doesn't look like it would make sense now. Kate does not have what it takes to be in this competition unless Jimmy's there holding her hand, guiding her through everything she's doing. The way I see it, it's like her leg needs to come up like there or something. That's a tricky one. Kay is screwed. I'm losing my mind right now. Why the am I overcomplicating it? You think like the ruffles in the skirt look cool? Or should I just take them out? You can do them, just don't whip them like crazy. Yeah, no, this just is a like, lot just more than I'm going to. Simple and clean. Thank for Team East, because I would be overcomplicating the shit out of this. You don't always have to be the first one to start. I need to buckle the down so that I can do this tattoo. Have you been doing this for a long time? Tattooing? Mm -hmm. I've been tattooing for three years. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So I'm the, I'm the baby here, Aww. the greenest one. I mean, I'm one of the oldest tattooers here, but one of the least really? experienced, yeah. In this competition, I might assume that I have a lot more time under my belt simply because I'm one of the oldest people here, but I have the least amount of experience compared to everybody else. Obviously, like, these lines are my weakest lines, so I'm wondering if I should shade one way on it. You can. Like, bring it, like, shade from that way, like, down yeah. like that. Yeah. You can. Yeah. I don't know why she wanted this tattoo, because she has issues pulling lines in the first place. Kay needs to go home. Aren't you glad I didn't say rib? Oh, I told you no. I'm not that nice. This is a competition. I'm trying to stay in this bitch. I'm not trying to go home. So I think I know why I got this canvas. I think that they know by giving me a more simple idea that there's a bigger chance that I'm going to hang myself. I feel like they're too straightforward and something's got to be added. So that's usually where I start to fault at. Is yours probably the biggest from what you've seen? No, in fact, mine's even the lesser detailed, but that's because I want legibility. The power has been in the Midwest and East for far too long, but somebody on one of those teams is dropping the ball. It's going to happen. I love her. I think she's so beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah. Ooh. Today, you had to show artistry, tattooing a pinup. Let's see how you did. Jessa. I don't understand this shoe that I'm looking at. I don't see how this leg and knee is coming out and then swooping down around and coming straight down, but in front of the other leg. I don't know where that's coming from and how it's making that turn. For a very simple drawing, it has to be right. You did those two brown lines that come to the nostrils and gave her zero nose. You definitely show some technical problems here today. OK. It raises some questions anatomically. Next up is the South, and of course, that means Jason. This tattoo looks messy. It's weird because you have super clean, rich black fading out the bright color in one area, and then right on the other side of the tattoo, you have a sketchy, not solid black with that chalky look color. Your application is not consistent, even in an area that's only two inches away from where you did really nice application. It went better than I thought it was going to. Yeah. Today, you are being tested on artistry. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Terrell, why did the jury of peers vote Jason to the bottom? The jury of peers voted Jason to the bottom because of the application issues in his tattoo. The saturation issues, the line work issues. I feel like Jason does better tattoos than this, and that is why we voted that way. First look at the tattoo, I think it's cute, and I think it's legible. Do I think it's the worst? No. It comes down to the style of shading you do, and really, you just don't commit to your tattoo. Maybe I stumbled today, but, but you, I also you... know, hold on a second, I'm not finished. Mine's probably the better of the three. There's just some really crazy anatomical issues on the other two, and then one of them's just really overworked. OK, the biggest issue is the application that's in this big stand-up base. It's the color choice and the way that it goes in. As soon as I started doing it, I knew that it had been the wrong choice. I didn't want to give you guys just a pinup. 
all three of you on the line hit some very strong shortcomings against a field that was really, really talented today. So we're looking at between Kay and Jessa. This is between the East and the East. There's a little bit of rough application in Jess's, but the roughest application of the day is in Kay's tattoo. Application aside, just in terms of anatomically laid out, my vote's for Kay. Kay. The judges have decided, Kay, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It takes a lot of guts and a lot of courage to show up here with only three years under your belt. Congratulations making it this far. I am just incredibly grateful to have had this opportunity, and you guys are all my family. Yeah. Please pack your machines and close shop. Artists, the five of you must face off tattooing black and gray illustrative griffins. You have six hours. Your time starts now. All right, man. There's a lot of lines in that wing, my friend. Yesterday is the day, right? How's it going, buddy? Good, man. We got that black and gray, just like you like it. Be walking the park today. This is like 50-50, throwing me a bone and screwing me at the same time. Finally get to do some black and gray, but I hate fantasy art. You're having me sick looking, like. I just wanted to go bold. Compared to the other drawings in the room, you're really on. Here we go again, the only one on my team, back in the bottom. And this face-off is the toughest challenge yet. I've got three veterans who are all solid tattooers. Jarrell's one tattoo of the day a couple of times. Not everything in life is easy. Sometimes fear is a good thing. You know, you got to face your fears head on. What do you usually like tattooing? I usually do more of like um, abstract kind of surrealism sort of. Ever since I got pardoned, I've just felt like I've had to restrain myself and just put out work that I wouldn't ordinarily be happy with. I'm tired of man. I want to do a tattoo that I walk away and I'm proud of. Ooh, look at you, Jason. The tricks. I'm feeling pretty confident that overall, it's the most dynamic drawing that has been done so far in this competition. Did you see the other drawings? Jimmy's is damn near close to traditional. It's like super flat. Like, you guys are drawing in three dimensions and he's drawing in two. I feel like Frank put a little too many detailed lines in the wings. Yeah. Team West is talking so much shit. His is hard to read. Yeah. It's really hard to shake him. And now I'm having feelings of doubt. Angel and Bob walking around looking at everybody. It's nerve-wracking. Yeah, the snakes. Oh, yeah, they are. Well, as long as we're here tomorrow and they're not, I'll be OK. This tattoo has to be the best tattoo in the room, because I want to stay. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. This tattoo is sick. I mean, it's, it looks it's awesome, sick. man. Oh, look at it. Hell yeah. This thing's killer. <sighs> How do you feel, man? I'm just feeling deja vu the, from the last face off, the three of us. When we sent Jason home, that one? Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest difference between this face off and the last one is now Jason doesn't have a safety net. Well, two people are going home today, and I know two of them that are safe is me and Jarrell. Who the other two are, that's on you guys. Today, the five of you had to face off for your survival, and you were being tested on technical application. Based on your work, two of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. Next up is Jason. I do love the head. I think you have the best drawn head. Your claws and your paws are cool. I was just trying to make a cool griffin, and I was just going for fantasy art. The steamy steam hair that's coming off of everything definitely gives me the inference of mystical magical. But you also have some messy stuff, where the chest and the shoulder turn into the wing. It's just all guesswork what's really going on right here. Some mag drag, some light wash lines, some real shaky little lines. So much for artistry. Raul. I do like the face. It looks tough. I also do like that front claw that's open. You see the talons. You see the strength. You see the grip in it. You do get some soft gray shading in the rock. But in the body, you don't really get that softness anywhere. And it's a shame, because the whole front neck and the whole front chest just get so blacked out. All these little shapes that are underneath the throat here, you see a lot of messiness. Next up is Frank. 
You're one of the few people today that gets the proportions on the front legs and the back legs correct. And this dynamic pullback in that front leg is really beautiful. But it's not a really strong silhouette because it is kind of balled up. It's a weird body position to choose to try to show what's going on. And for translation to a tattoo, you need a lot of contrast to let each part of this body look visible. You look at the hind legs, I can just see shading that just kind of, instead of looking smooth, like it fades from one area to the other, it just looks rough. It just looks sketched in. It's time to determine the first artist to pack their machines. Rolls falls pretty short. I can find shining examples of nice work in this tattoo, so don't get me wrong. But if we look close at the wing, I see outline problems, I see black saturation problems, and I see shading problems. The judges have decided, Raul, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. This has been one hell of an experience. I just want to say, boys, daddy's coming up. Please pack your machines and close shop. We are not done yet. It's time to determine the second artist that's going home. This next one's going to be tough. Frank and Jason up for elimination. I came in here thinking that Jason had tattoo of the day, and I am literally flip-flop to wanting to send him home. Over this drawing? It's not the drawing, man. It's the tattooing. The head and the claws do not match the rest of the tattoo. I love this drawing the most. Zoom into just the chest and look at the chest like this. You couldn't tell me that's feathers. Right, but the years. idea of a tattoo isn't to look at a part of it. It is for me. If, as a I boss and an owner of a shop, I would. I understand, but I will say the one silhouette that I have a hard time with is Frank's. I don't know what it is when I'm looking at it. But application, we say all the time, is first and foremost in everything you do. With that being said, my mind is made up. Jason. The judges have decided, Jason, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You'll have six hours to tattoo a black and gray, realistic US landmark. Fail to impress the judges, and you will be going home. Good luck. You all right? <laughs> I can't tell what that means, man. You just keep laughing. <laughs> From the first line I pull, this dude is in excruciating pain. Oh, my god. I don't even have the needle on you right now. Oh, that devil hurts, huh? It's a nightmare. I cannot get any area of solid, clean tattooing on this guy, and I'm All right, let's take like a few minutes break and throw some water in my face. Oh, my God. I don't want to throw up on you. It sucks to know that after all the hard work, I could be going home because this guy can't sit still. That's what they wanted to see, right? Yeah. Realism is a time-consuming process. I don't do realism, so I'm trying to race through these last little details. I don't even know if I'm gonna even put any of the gesture lines because of all the rocks and stuff. It just kind of simplified everything else. Also, I still have the face of the dam to shade, which is the most important part because that is the monument. If I don't shade the monument, then I am screwed. Today, you had to show smooth shading, tattooing a black and gray realistic US landmark. Let's see how you did. Bob. The problem is it's such an immense structure that anywhere there is detail is going to be so tiny when you show the whole thing. I realized that when I got down to doing it. Did you ever consider not putting the top on and just working up to the rim of the dam? But it does have those towers, and I didn't want to like omit something that makes it what it is. Your one area of really nice shading is the face of the dam. Your rocks look really nice on the lower sections. The top just has an unfinished look. I respect your moxie to go for it, but the top of this tattoo is a pretty big miss. Jessa. It is pretty messy. It's got rough line work. It's got rough shading. If we look at the underside of the road, all that black is just really stripy. For me, the real problem is that this road just does not line up with itself, and the fence doesn't line up with itself. Today, you are being tested on shading. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. I really wanted to show all the pieces of the dam. I've been there before. If I had just chopped it off at the top, I'm going to get ridiculed forever for being like, yeah, but that's not the full dam. You didn't include the other power unit. Not by me. At least it's architecturally correct. 
the Brooklyn Bridge, the bridge does not pass through that giant concrete slab that's at the bottom. It's still recognizable as what it is. But it's wrong. Like, you're doing a national landmark. It should be correct and true to the landmark. I wish that I could have put some more stuff into there, but I mean, it, it does look like the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, judges, it is time to determine who's going home. Jess's tattoo had the best approach on this thing and still lost it. But I would say that Jess's tattoo still looks like the bridge. Yes. When I look at Bob's tattoo, it takes me a moment to figure out, oh, this is the Hoover Dam. The thing about Bob's tattoo is his black's not solid in the water, but the bottom section is carefully rendered. At least there's a glimmer of application. Jessa, for what little there is everywhere in this, from line work to shading, there is not little problems, but major problems. Jessa, my vote's for you. The judges have decided. Jessa, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You proved your medal to yourself. You got everything in front of you. Take it and run with it. Please pack your machines and close shop. Come here. Good job. Thanks. Good job. All right, guys, you're going to have two hours to design, six hours to tattoo. Let's do it. Fail to impress the judges with your versatility, and you will be packing your machines. Get to work on your designs, and good luck. All right, let's do this. All let's right. make some magic, buddy. Jimmy, I got you. On paper, I'm kind of an unlikely competitor here. Hiram gave me a drawing of a lady face, and that's something that I do all the time in black and gray. But it's versatility day, so why not do it in color? I think that it's super important to come face to face with what you're not good at. I also changed the features of this lady face a little bit because I want it to be a softer face. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot by going the easy route. That's a cool piece. It's pretty cool. What did you get? Yeah, it was a snail. A snail? Yep, and it's a lot of fun. I'm tattooing a color illustrative snail that's sitting on this floating cliff range looking over at a jewel that's floating above the snail. It does look really cool. Kelly is an excellent illustrator. I was not worried at all what he was going to produce. This tattoo is completely different from what I drew for Jimmy. So I'm also showing that I am a more versatile artist than they may think I am at this point. And that's what I need moving forward. It was the biggest competition. We've basically just been trying to get the West out of here. Yeah. But we fought tooth and nail to stay here. I'm not going home anytime soon. All Let's right, dude, out. we're done. Check it out. Oh, my god. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I think we just beat the West at their own game today. Yeah, we did. Did we you see the hair in Angels? None of the black is saturated at all. Good. They played this whole round in a way that they would keep each other safe from us. Yeah. I ended up themselves the entire way through. <laughs> I'm so excited. They did this to themselves. Thanks. This week, you're being tested on your versatility. You'll be judged not only on your tattoo, but also on your line drawing. Before we critique your work, there is one more thing you should know. What the Of course there is. You called out an artist, and that artist had to tattoo your line drawing. But you'd better hope you didn't dish out more than you can handle. What does that mean? Because each of you must tattoo your own line drawing. What? Holy shit. Man. Make your design glow. Outdo the person that did your design. Show us why you drew it and what it really is supposed to look like. Based on both of your tattoos and your drawing, one of you will be eliminated. That's intense, man. Head into the shop, and we'll send in your canvases. Right now? Right. Off you go. All right, do okay. it. Now these artists have to tattoo their own line drawing. This should be a cakewalk. Good fun day. But you'll see that probably some of these artists will find insecurities in themselves because somebody may have tattooed their design better than they would have. So now they'll be in their heads, and now we'll see what they do with it. When this tattoo was drawn, I was protecting Jimmy, and now I have to tattoo basically against Jimmy. That doesn't feel good whatsoever, but I'm also still going to try and do the best that I can do in this design. And that's the thing about working in every style, is I can create for somebody else, but I can also yeah. do the same shit that I was creating, you know? I'm telling you, girl, you got to kill it for the ladies. It's time. There's 
<laughs> There's some pressure on me right now. I love this design. The only thing that sucks about this is that Bob did the tattoo exactly how I wanted to do it. So I gotta think a little differently. I'm flying on this thing. Do you do a lot of American traditional? Yeah. Throughout this whole competition, I've been very underestimated, and everyone thinks I'm just a one-trick pony because I have stuck to my root. Copy me? Copying you? You copied me, bro. I cannot copy you. I did it first. I'm in a little bit of a situation because I'm going to end up turning in two traditional tattoos. But Hiram was so nervous about approaching this tattoo that it made a lot of mistakes. If I do mine the right way and put all the colors in the places that they're supposed to be, I'm going to send his ass home. That's all she wrote. The rest is up to fate. This week, you had to prove your versatility by tattooing someone else's line drawing and your own design. Let's see how you did. Angel, you had to tattoo Hiram's line drawing. The way you translate someone else's drawing is tricky. You have that black section behind the earring, which gives her this crazy little pencil neck. The contrast on this tattoo, it just makes the things that aren't appealing stand out. The mouth looks incredibly small. She does look like she's missing a tooth. The additions and the changes that you made got you more than anything. Yeah. Let's move on and look at what you designed for Bob. Angel, I really like this drawing. Thank you. The smoothness of this application is completely different from your other tattoo. The shading that you have in the face really gives it that lizard-like feel. But this yellow color just becomes pretty similar against your canvas's skin. With a different color choice, you could have really made this thing pop. Frank, you had to tattoo Kelly's line drawing. Get him, bud. You went a little darker with a lot of your color tones and you get a lot of great contrast in this tattoo. Instantly, this hot and cold color palette works because the red bounces off the green, the blue bounces off the red, but these dark reds and maroons don't go in solid. So all your diamond shapes look messy. There's things about Kelly's that I think are smoother and softer. Both of these came out super strong, though. All right. Frank, you designed a line drawing for Jimmy. It's a cool little character. I think it's super simple. It's super clean, super legible. I like the red in this tattoo a lot, man. It's punch, solid, bright. But your black doesn't keep up with the red. You see a holidays through both of your areas of black. I think you missed the boat a little bit. Good tattoos, bud. Jimmy, you had to tattoo Frank's line drawing. I don't like this one from you. It just doesn't have the appearance that you did it. There's no outline that's solid. That entire hairline is transparent. The black in the hair off the right cheek is super not punched in. The whole tattoo of sanded. Frank gets that rich, solid red that really jumps. And then I think Jimmy in a little bit more trouble with this blacks. And I don't think it's a really big push for versatility day for you. That's where you're falling short. Let's take a look at your own line drawing that you did for Hiram. I like the drawing. I like what you do here with the strange color choices. You definitely hone it in on the outline on this. And your areas of solid black, way better than the last tattoo. Everything keeps up, and you do what we expect you to do all the time. Right. Well, let's take a look at Jimmy and Hiram's tattoos. I think it's super cool because we see different takes on the same line drawing. Both these tattoos are strong. Oh, Jimmy. My bad, man. Sorry. This week, your versatility was put to the test. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. The group came out hot. So when we get to these numbers, there's always going to be three in the bottom, and it is always going to come down to the final technical things. I thought I did a lot better. But I mean, like, I looked at all the tattoos in the room, and they're all good. So if you're not on the top, you're here. Frank's got shining moments in both these tattoos, but the snail just looks muted and dull, like it's looking at it through a tinted window. Angel, your tattoo of Hiram's design, you do not only messy tattooing in this, but you omit and change things, which actually made the design less appealing. You wanted to see versatility and you wanted to see drawing. I went and reached way far outside of my toolbox. Jimmy was within his toolbox and could not adapt to his own style. You're saying that's not your style, Angel? You do illustrative girl heads all the Time. I do black and gray realism. Hiram drew something for you, so don't act like it's and so far Jimmy out of your comfort zone. And, and Frank, Frank drew something, something for, for you. you. But, but, but I'm not sitting there acting like it's out of my comfort zone. At the same time, you're doing the only thing that you do every single day. I've never once changed the tattoo into American traditional. They were either given to me, or I got skull picks and I picked what I 
do best. But I mean, that's what I was given. Jimmy, you and Angel pretty much are rivals for the two bottom quality of application based on the first tattoo. You have hollow outlines, that yellow comes through, that light colors come through, and I can see through your black. But I think my second tattoo is probably one of the cleanest tattoos in the room. I don't think Jimmy should go home at all. Who are you saying should go home? I'm gonna have to say Angel. I'm not gonna sit here and act like that's something I'm proud of. I am not. However, you guys flat out said my drawing was your favorite of the day. So I definitely deserve to stay in this competition. My vote to go home is Angel. Angel. The judges have decided. Angel, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Angel, you did great. And seeing you be here and seeing you grow and seeing you lead the pack is incredible. Thank you. Please pack your machines and close shop. I'd love to see you back. <gasps> Boom! Just in time. We're about to talk about numbers. <laughs> I don't know what we would do without you. Oh, you guys. If anybody deserved a pardon, it was you, Angel. <gasps> You'll have six hours to tattoo a portrait of a senior citizen. This is your chance to show the judges precisely what you're made of. Fail to impress us, and you will be packing your bags. <sighs> Good luck. There's a portrait of your dad, yeah. you know what I mean? So, like, I don't want to give you something bad. And I'd be more comfortable doing a black and gray portrait than a color portrait. OK. Having a full color portrait in six hours is a lot to ask for. I mean, I'm flexible with that. Awesome. I might want to move it. We can move it, for sure, yes. for sure. You are light-handed. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I might be driving to Oklahoma to for my next tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> My tattoo is a portrait of my canvas's great-grandmother. She's got a full head of black hair, so making this look not like a solid mass of black sludge is a really delicate balance. Oh, sweet. Yep, having fun. Is it looking like 100 grand? Yeah, <laughs> trying to make it look like 100 grand. <laughs> I'm not a portrait artist. I've only done maybe five portraits in my life, so I'm just winging it. How's it looking? Everybody's still good. That's good. To be honest, I'm worried about, about me. Really? Shut the f up. I'm gonna have to finish before I want. I can't believe that I'm having a skin issues right now. Everything is red and everything is dark. How's the pain? I want some little hits a spot. Hopefully, it'll lose the redness at some point. I'm gonna be able to see and add little details here and there. But for now, I'm working blindly. Don't move for a second. Uh -huh. let, the, let your 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 skin breathe. I've been calling for this day from the beginning of this competition. This was my day to kill it, hit the table, and put everybody on notice. Cool. It looks beautiful, man. Dude, I love it. It's amazing. It looks exactly like her. Today, you had to tattoo portraits of senior citizens. And you were being tested on precision. Let's take a look at how you did. Frank. Your values got a little bit further away from you than they needed to be. The darkness of that V between her eyes, but turning her expression to a meaner expression. She has a couple of freckles or moles that you made a lot more noticeable than they are in real life. And then instead of showing me that she's got wrinkle lines, you show bubbles on the chin. Bob. Instead of having darks and lights flow across the contours of the face, you pick out the dark spots of the tattoo and you just hit the dark spot. You create spots across the forehead, you create spots through the chin, and the area that's the mustache is literally just a few dozen spots. It has more of a cheetah pattern than a hair pattern. Hiram. You get some great details. The details in the teeth are nice, but they're way harsh compared to the softness of the photo. You get hyper detail in these wrinkles, and she looks way older in the tattoo than she does in the photo. You aged her. Just letting it fall back and giving those little inferences, that's the move. Less is more. That thing looks crazy. Today, you are being tested on precision. Jarrell, why did the jury of peers vote Hiram to the bottom? The jury voted Hiram to the bottom because we felt like he went too intense with all the wrinkles in the face, and it's very tonal. 
the skin wasn't giving me the values that I was expecting to get. I was putting my light tones and they were turning medium gray right away. So I was scared to put my dark tones on the very end, just waiting for the skin to settle. This approach at doing hair is really, really, really odd. When this thing lightens up, the hair is gonna be almost blank. I got scared that I'm not gonna be able to frame it. I can find 10,000 excuses, but as bad as my tattoo is, friends, it's worse. That nose is not the same as the person. The mouth has three lips. I don't agree. I didn't add shit or move the actual shape of the damn face. Well, Frank, the textures that you captured are different textures than are in her face. When I turned it to black and gray and then bumped the contrast, I overcorrected, and then I tattooed what I saw, and that's where you get the extra things. Less would have been way more. But out of those three tattoos, Frank's is obviously applied better. But I have a tattoo of a past loved one, and if it didn't look like that person, I'd be bummed out about it. But I mean, compared to the other two, none of those look like the people either. What are you talking about? My guy recognizes the tattoo right when he saw it. But the fact that his head's like this, and he's a heavy set guy, puts the weight of his neck on his shoulder. So tilting him changed the shape. I'm not a photorealism expert. I'm not like a black and gray artist. I wanted to put as many precise details as I could in there. I lined up the eyes. I tried to get his expression as good as I could. Yeah, but you put spots in your tattoo that aren't in the photo. And his forehead is different size gray spots. There's just spots everywhere. Judges, it is time to determine who's going home. I got problems with all three of these tattoos. I mean, for me, I'm looking for which photo looks like the tattoo the most. The bottom half of Frank's tattoo is a different person. The brow, the nose, and this sharp angle on the lip, they're three major differences dead smack in the center of the face. My vote is for Frank. The judges have decided, Frank, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It's been an excellent experience. I'm just so stoked to have gone as far as I have. I commend you for the way you conduct yourself and your tattooing, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you very much. Hiram and Bob, one of you will also be packing your machines today. Holy shit. All right, judges, who is the second artist going home today? The problem with Hiram's is that you see these crazy shapes and details that aren't human-like, like the neck. That is not the details of her neck. Then you have the dots everywhere on Bob's. Right, but I'm leaning towards Bob as hitting it better, just on lightness alone. The judges have decided, Hiram, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you very much, guys. You'll have six hours to tattoo a Japanese crane. Okay. Keep your composure or you will be heading home. Good luck. The rice field down at the bottom, the crane, and maybe like a mountain. Rice field. I'm trying to picture this design. It's a lot. He's trying to make sure, composition-wise, it's going to flow well. His cap is about the size of my forearm. There's not a lot of real estate here, so I'm going to have to try to remove some of these items. Do you want it to no. open about to take flight or just like no. stagnant? No, I don't want it to take flight at all, no. Okay. It's too stiff of an image. If I can just open this crane up, I can really shape the calf. But if I can't, I might be screwed. Yeah, it's the last five. and. I'm a major competitor in this house. Like, nobody's been able to, like, really stump me up yet, you know? Oh, shit. Is that why they gave this to you? Is this the most painful spot? Ah, uh, they gave it to me because it's a painful spot, and you asked for a lot of things. I did, really? I love tattooing so much. It's one of those things where I can just shut out the world. As a child, I used to just go to my room, shut everybody out, and I would just draw for hours. It was my outlet for a lot of emotions and pain that I had to deal with. <sighs> Bob definitely screwed me over hard, but I'm not gonna let your shot land at all, buddy. Oh, I got a lot to do. It's hard to see the forest for the trees when I'm this deep in the weeds. I'm gonna do some just like light black and gray wash to build out those clouds a little bit, and then we'll put the yellow in the beaks, a little bit of color in the eye. 50 minutes to do all of that. More than enough, right? Yeah! <laughs> Swimming in extra time. Uh... There's a feeling of fear and doubt that comes with being targeted. I hope I didn't up any bird rules that I don't know about. The whole point behind Bob's skull pick today was to keep me busy, and he did. If I go to the bottom, then Bob did his job. Five, 
four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. All right. Wow. That's amazing. Stressful day. Yeah, from here, it's absolutely awesome. I feel like I did two cranes today, because I did two cranes today. But yeah. that, like, that means that each one of my cranes, I get half as much time to do and half as much time to draw. Right. I don't know how it's going to all stack out. Out of everybody in the room, I feel like I went pretty simplistic with my illustration. Because like my brain was like, don't over-illustrate it. Is that not all right for traditional Japanese? Should I just do this? I'm not going to lie, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Today, you are being tested on composition, tattooing Japanese cranes. Let's see how you did. Jarrell. The question here for me on composition is, is that an ant pile? Because the size relationship from that mountain to that sun to the white cap and the bird, there's serious issues with depth. The sun can't be bigger than anything on the whole tattoo that's in the back. Is that a wind, that scoop that comes back? I was trying to show off some wind, just to break up the elements. You have water, you have wind, you have clouds, and tonally, and they're all exactly the same. And it's just a lot to take in. Yeah. There's not a harmony going on with anything in here. The clouds don't really match the water. The water's dramatic, the clouds are bubbly and loose. Today, this did not fly for you. That's rough, man. <sighs> Kelly. Your tail feathers in this tattoo are beautiful. They're shaded beautifully. But these drawings are weird. Your bird is like a pterodactyl. You have a massive head with a very small body. And when you gnarl up their beaks and gnarl up their heads, you create more of a dinosaur look. The idea here was style and grace. This doesn't hit that look. Thanks. Angel. The solid red in the sun, it's very saturated. There's also some nice soft gray areas. But as far as composition goes, it just doesn't lay out. The way the black clouds just bubble on one side and then bubble at the bottom, it doesn't create a flow. It doesn't create something dynamic to make the piece more legible. What is up with that wing? How many directions can those feathers flow? You're talking about the right one or the left one? The one in front that has feathers going this way and that way and this way and that way. I mean, it's your focal point. It's the biggest thing in your tattoo is the wing that's staring at me in the face that's completely drawn wrong. That's not what a wing looks like in any bird. That was rough. Damn. Today, you are being tested on composition. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. There's drawing problems in all three of these tattoos. Kelly misses the drawing. From a distance, you see two birds flying around the sun, but two crazy-ass dinosaur bluebirds. The task of drawing two cranes instead of just one and trying to get them to interact with each other was a really big job. I think angels looks the least like a crane. For me, that looks like it could be a swan or a goose. No, shut the up. At least mine's a white bird. I mean, if we really look at Jarrell's, if you just blur your eyes and look at that, you can't see a crane. Jarrell's is not only the hardest to read, but has the worst application. You didn't saturate it well enough, so now it looks all the same. Jarrell, your biggest problem is you hid everything in front of itself and behind itself. Your darkness in your water masks the two thin little black legs that you have in there. I got confused on the aspect, more in the traditional aspect. I felt like simplifying things was going to more so hit it. But the wind bars looks like a turntable or a highway or anything other than what it's supposed to be. And your wing looks broken. Angel, that crane is not telling me that it's a crane. That wing doesn't even look like a wing. This is the worst anatomy in the room by far. Both Terrell and Angel have very cluttered designs. I don't know what the hell either of them are, but I see a beak sticking out of angels. So I at least know that it's in the avian family. Jarrell put more elements into the composition to make it more hard to discern what's happening. My vote's for Jarrell. The judges have decided. Jarrell, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. I'm proud. I took Tattoo of the Day three times. I feel like I played a good role for myself. The big reason I'm here is for my kids, so they can really see obstacles are just small things that you can get around. I'm just going to keep pushing my career and just let life take me as far as I know it can. What's up? What's up, man? How you feeling? Not today, just got me. 
I just got it in my head too much. Can you get out of your head? Yeah. You sure? Hell yeah, I'm sure. You got three wins. This is a prime opportunity for you to go back in there and show them what you're made of. You want to do it? Hell yeah. I'll use my pardon. Shit. Unpack. Thank you, man. Get in there. Stay out of your head. I will. Ready to fight. Man, if they were worried before, they have no idea. Well, you better get ready. Get ready for a fight to the finish line, because your spot in the finale is in your opponent's hands. Nobody knows your strengths and weaknesses better than the artists who've competed alongside you all season long. And today, they are calling the shots. Bob, Angel, Jarrell, and Kelly, you'll choose the style and subject that Jimmy must tattoo. Oh. Wow. Is it style and subject? Style and subject. This is crazy. Bob, Jarrell, Kelly, and Jimmy, you'll choose the style and subject that Angel must tattoo. And so on and so forth. It's gonna be wild. Man. It's up to each of you as a group to take out your opponents regardless of region. Sweet. This decision could be the difference between walking away with the title or walking away empty-handed. Damn. Cruising along, man. Cruising, <laughs> cruising, cruising. This is a really effective shot against me. There has to be enough of the face for it to look like a face, and there has to be enough galaxy for me to make it good in black and gray. The competition is it's pretty fierce. I specifically know that Jarrell suggested the lady face because when we did the design swap day, he asked me if I was okay with the lady face, and I said I would prefer not to. Who's been on top has gone back and forth a couple times. Yeah. I would love to take this design and turn it into a tattoo that shuts Jarrell the f up. Today, your opponents called the shots. Three of you will move on to the finale, and two of you will be packing your machines. <sighs> Kelly. A lot of great application. The shading in the face, the shading in the neck, the smoothness of the shading is nice. Somewhere, details of her face had to slowly become less visible into the galaxy. There's so many interesting ways to morph one thing turning into another thing, and it doesn't even appear that you tried that. All right, judges, it is now time to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. Whether it's hitting the exact challenge or getting overall finished tattoo or delivering something that's legible, there's problems on all sides of the fence. In Angel's case, I'm not sold 100% on realism, but as far as being a realistic place, Jarrell's, I feel like, does need to be finished. I will say that I do feel like Jarrell went and hit the challenge head on. Jimmy's, for me, is legible. I do think that Jimmy hits the challenge that he was given, but Kelly's tattoo for me, first glance, no clue what the is going on with this thing. You look at the exterior shape, it just looks like somebody went bam and they got bruised. But omit the galaxy and the tattoo is super stunning. You guys assign this to Kelly. Do you guys see a morph? For a morph, Kelly misses it. The judges have decided, Kelly, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I would say that you're probably the cleanest dude up there. Thank you. Please pack your machines and close shop. All right, Kelly. See you guys. OK, artists, you have 13 hours to show us quality and quantity in this tattoo marathon. And your time starts now. All right, let's go see what you want. All right, buddy. What got you in tattoo? I wanted to find an outlet that I could see myself doing for the rest of my life. And tattooing is that thing. This finale is right there. I'm hours away from securing my spot. It was hey. a pleasure. Great to meet you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I'm going to try to tattoo as many canvases as I possibly can because I have no more chances. This is my last one. I'm thinking about going with the tombstone right here. Okay, cool. We literally have 30 minutes left. Yep. And so the only one that I can get done in that amount of time would either Hopefully. be this one. Yep. Let's do that one. This one? Yep. Come Great, on. thank you. I cannot drop the ball now. I cannot let the exhaustion get to me. I can't let any of the stress get to me. It's going to be perfect, because it has to be. <laughs> All I got to do is just beat one person in here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Jimmy. That was quick as <laughs> What one was that? The uh, tombstone. You did shit quick as hell. Five, four, three, two, 
one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. This tattoo marathon is over. 15 minute tattoo, bro. That looks real good for 15 minutes. <laughs> bro. <laughs> it's perfect. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. It looks great. All right, man, that's it. I'm happy with that, dude. Me too. Oh, my god. I don't even remember half of those tattoos. The last two hours was just yeah. autopilot. Whoever makes that finale deserves it. OK. Angel, Jarrell, and Jimmy, you had one last chance to prove you deserve a spot in the finale by surviving a 13-hour tattoo marathon. Based on your work, two of you will move on to compete in the finale, and one of you will be eliminated. Let's see how you did. Jarrell, you're up next. Your designs were picked the least. Only six canvases picked your designs. I like these designs. They all have a little creepy Friday 13th vibe. This is my guy all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think your designs work. They just don't work for the crowd. However, you tattooed the most, coming in at 15 tattoos in 13 hours. It was just crazy. For doing 15 tattoos, your strong point here is your outlines are all pretty consistent, but your shortcomings are the areas where you try to put too much solid black in. The monkey tattoo, that whole big area, the side and the bottom of the chin where you shade gets rough and gets a little away from you, and it does start to look like you're in a rush. But looking at the skull of the hat, the shading in the eyes gets really rich and then opens up nicely. Your shading looks like you're taking a little bit more precision. If you pulled back a little bit and did 13, those other areas that you were flying through would have tightened up. But overall, you banged out the most, and you did kill your job. All right, guys, time to determine which artist has earned the second spot in the finale. At the end of the entire run yesterday, me and him both decided to bust out another one. We just didn't want to give up because 100%. we wanted to show that we That's deserve it. That's how this. bad that we want this. I know that Angel did less tattoos, Drell did the most tattoos, Jimmy's kind of right in the middle. I mean, Angel did the most complicated ones. You can't judge her down for doing less tattoos when she did arguably just as much line work in the tattoos. Yeah, if I would have done that dog five times, it would have been flawless. I mean, if you slowed down a little bit, you might have done less tattoos, but, you know, you might have had richer saturation on some of them. I don't think you really have a room to talk here. I really like a lot of what Jarrell turns in, but the consistency throughout. The way that Jarrell lacks the black in the monkey is the flip side for me on a lot of Jimmy's outlines. Jimmy needed to get Jarrell's outline, and then Jarrell needed Jimmy's color inside his clean outlines, and it would have been like, boom. Jarrell and Jimmy, one of you will earn the final spot in the finale, and one of you will be packing your machines. Jarrell's got some areas where he's super clean. You look at his skull with the hat, the shading is super smooth, and he definitely does a cleaner job than Jimmy does. But then you go into the monkey, the cleanliness is not there. I also think that Jimmy puts the black in way more solid. But you're not seeing Jimmy getting out of the lines in different I see it. tattoos? I see it. I don't know, man. We have to color inside the lines. When I look at these pieces of art on the skin, the tattooer that looks like they attacked these things and had the most consistent approach is Jimmy. And that is my vote. Because he colored in the lines, and because it is clean, I'm going with Jarrell. I agree, Jarrell has super clean outlines. But those birds of drill are super rough. And then he has a tombstone with that gray all crammed in there. When I compare a couple things back and forth, the few little hiccups that Jimmy has still looks like big, solid tattoos. My vote is for Jimmy. The judges have decided. Jimmy, you have earned the last spot in the finale. I put a lot um, on the line, so is Jarrell. We both put in a lot of shit throughout our entire lives just to get to this moment. I'm happy. Thank you. Congratulations, brother. That means, Jarrell, the judges have decided you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You, my man, fought as hard as you could all the way through. You definitely have my support. Thank you. Please pack your machines and close shop. I want you to do it.